I know you can't possibly go around and trusting people right away, uh, especially guys, because the last thing you want is to be used. Um, this is why love is so hard to find for you, because you're afraid of being used. Used for your body, used for your looks, used for your time and energy. So how would she know who to trust in the first place? Before I begin, let me quickly tell you a quick story about a scholar and a Zen master. Basically, a scholar wanted to learn stuff about the Zen teachings from a Zen master. And so he approached the master and asked questions about the philosophy of it. But every time the master spoke, the scholar kept interrupting the Zen master. He kept agreeing, kept disagreeing, yes, no, this and that, I think that this. It got to the point when the Zen master decided to pour himself a cup of tea, all right? And then he leaned forward and poured the scholar his cup of tea. But as he was pouring, the, the Zen master kept pouring water, uh, tea on his cup. And the scholar was like, stop, stop, you're overfilling the tea. But the master kept pouring. It's gotten to the point where it was now dripping onto the table and onto the floor. The scholar was like, enough, enough. You're overfilling the cup. The cup can only take so much tea. And so the, the master was like, exactly. You see, your mind is like this cup of tea. You come to me for, for knowledge, but how could I ever teach you when you are so, so stuck up and filled with your own ideas and knowledge? If you want me to help you, you have to be willing to empty your cup so that I could fill it with knowledge. So when you come to watch my videos, I want you to empty your mind, empty your cup so that I could teach you the, you know, my teachings on, on this topic, on this topic, which is creating trust. Okay. I mean, if you don't like what you're going to hear, then you can always empty the cup and refill it with your own tea. That doesn't, you know, I'm not, I'm not too bothered about that. You know, you never know. I might be pouring poison on your, on your cup of tea. <laughs> but before I continue, let me quick, quickly give you a quick disclaimer. Three, one, do not take what I say seriously. I'm just an entertainer. Two, follow the rules of the land that you are living in. Be a good citizen. And three, be an adult as you watch me. And if you're still a child, if you're under 18, at least have the adult, adult mindset. If you could do that, then I can continue. So first of all, let me define to you what trust is. So basically, again, this video is all about creating trust. Let me define to you what trust is so that we can all be in the same alignment um, without having any miscommunications with each other. <clears throat> trust by definition is you can rely on someone. You can rely on them, on your, you can rely your life on them. But you might think, hey, that's just called dependency. Well, in this video, I define trust as relying on someone. Okay, you, you put your you put your trust on someone. For example, um, you tell something, you tell a secret to a friend of yours in hopes that they won't tell others. They won't spread it to any other people. Okay, you are relying on them to not tell anyone. Okay, that's trust. So, trust. How can you create trust? Trust isn't created by you telling the girl that she should turn around and fall back because you'll be there behind her to catch her. Nope, that's not how trust is, is made. In fact, she'll think you're a creep uh, who's about to kidnap her or do something very nasty to her. Um, that's not how trust is created, but it's a matter of you, the man, turning around and falling back in hopes that she will catch you. If she doesn't catch you, then at least now you know not to trust her. You need to give your trust to them first and find out for yourself if they'll break it or not. If they do break it, then you'll know not to trust them. It's a price you must be willing to take. But for you ladies, I know it's slightly different. It's slightly different for you. 
I know you can't possibly go around and trusting people right away, uh, especially guys, because the last thing you want is to be used. Um, this is why love is so hard to find for you because you're afraid of being used, used for your body, used for your looks, used for your time and energy. So how would she know who to trust in the first place? Well, I have an answer for that. If the guy is of value and she recognizes that of him, then she'll trust. She certainly won't trust a, a guy who she has no idea of his occupation. He could be a serial killer. Value can be found through what he is well known for. This is why employers who don't hire those whose social media is filled with hate and liars, believe me, they do check. They want to know who they are dealing with, who they are welcoming into their tribe. This, um, this goes the same with women. They want to know who the guy is so that he doesn't end up breaking her trust, breaking her heart. So a form of value can be found when he is being recommended to the employer. Oh, hire this guy. He's got the skills that is handy for this job. You know, social proof is one form of value. Another form of value is good looks. Believe me on that. Um, but the main thing is she needs to see that you are a man of value by demonstrating it through your actions. You know, actions speaks louder than words. Whereas for you ladies, you did you know that if a guy, get this, if a guy finds you sexually attractive, he already trusts you, you know? He will do everything he can to make you trust him so that he can bed you. He'll do everything he can to make you trust him so that he could bed you. He, he could have sex with you. That's just how men is. That it's in our biology. You can't change it, unless of, of course you um you make yourself super fucking unattractive. Uh, <laughs> unless you make yourself super fucking unattractive, then eventually what's gonna happen is we'll get so grossed out by you that we'll end up leaving you for another woman who wants to be attractive. In other words, this woman who actually takes care of her physical appearance, her beauty. But this goes the same for you ladies when it comes to guys. Um, you certainly, if a guy doesn't have his life together, he becomes undesirable, um, unattractive. I mean, take a look at your ex, for example. The reason why it didn't work out for you, but get this, the reason why it didn't work out is likely because he got so disconnected with survival values, okay? He got so disconnected with survival values. What did your ex do? He became too needy with you. He wasn't leading his tribe to a better path. He wasn't who he said he claimed to be. Thus, he lied just to get you just to shove that garbage into your tight little pussy. That's what your ex did to you. And so women respect men who are successful, just as men respect women who wants to be beautiful. Beautiful physical-wise, beautiful heart-wise. You know, one way that I do to give my trust to a girl, get this, this is how I create trust whenever I just, you know, meet a new girl or uh, whatsoever. I've done this plenty of times, like in, in house parties. Okay, this completely annihilates all the, all the dishonesties, lies and setbacks and replaces it with truthfulness, um, honesty and reliability. One of the ways that I give my trust to a girl is that I give my phone to her unlocked before leaving the room. You know, here's my phone, um, hold on to it for a sec, I'm just popping off to the toilet, I trust you. You know, at this point, she can just just go around all over my social media, look at all the messages, all the photos, all the notes and everything, knowing that it could, it could attract or repulse her opinion about me. But that's the price I'm willing to take uh, when it comes to trust. 
I mean, I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to hide from her. Because if I did, then that means I have secret communications that I don't want the other person to know about. How could she possibly trust you when you don't want her to know stuff about you? You know, that you are keeping things from her. One of the best ways that I found in order to form trust is by demonstrating it through taking action. And by that, I give my phone to the girl unlocked without having a panic attack, knowing that she could see all the messages other girls send me and I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a problem with that. It's better to be honest and truthful than being a liar, right? If being honest and truthful isn't enough for her, then I simply move on. It's not worth my time. I've seen better days. It's not like it's gonna hurt her reputation or your reputation or anything. At least now, she knows that you trust her because if you didn't, you wouldn't give her your phone in the first place. As again, for women, making trust, building trust with a guy isn't that difficult for you because again, we men, when we are sexually attracted to you, we already trust you. It's in our biology. You women, you're the selector. But now that you have her, how would you know that she, you could trust her to stay with you? And how would you know that you could trust him to stay with you? Well, now you're going to the advanced section of trust. I mean, previously I was just giving you the tip, the tip of the iceberg about it. But to be honest with you, I have already answered this question previously. Um, but uh, how, okay, how, how would you know that, that they're gonna stay with you, you could trust them to stay with you? If you're a man who loses your survival values, what's going to happen is the woman will eventually lose interest in you, she'll move away from you and look for better options out there because time isn't her best friend. Whereas you ladies, if you lose in touch with your feminine side, we men will get grossed out by you that will leave you for another woman who who does value her physical appearance so take care of yourself apart from that that's basically it for for trust um again let's give a good, quick conclusion how can you form trust you have to be willing to turn around and fall back in hopes that they will catch you. It's a price you must be willing to take. If they break your trust, now you know not to trust them. You, people can never break your trust if you never if you never give your trust to them in the first place. Okay, so you have to give your trust to them first. The way I do it, I give my phone to the girl that I, uh, that I trust. And if she deletes messages, uh, sends hateful comments, um, removes photos of mine, you know, and now I know not to trust her. Okay, that's just how I roll. I don't know how you guys roll. You probably have your own charm, um, but you can always copy mine. I mean, as long as you're genuine about it. Okay, but um, that's basically it. I do have a bonus piece I want to share with you because a friend of mine messaged me about it and um, it's all about being nice. I'll give you a quote about what he said. Okay. Um, because this is actually quite, he was quite genuine about it. He said, he asked me, is it bad to be too nice? Okay, one sec. Nope, that's not the, that's not the right one. <laughs> okay, he asked me, if we are being too nice, good and caring to others, does that mean we will lose self-respect? And I had a very good answer for that. And I wanted to answer that question in this video as a bonus piece. So listen closely. If you are being too nice, get this, eventually what's gonna happen is um, you're gonna feel like you're being used, used for your generosity. And if that's the case, you'll stop being too nice now, wouldn't you? Okay. You'll stop something when you feel like you're being used. So either be so good that you don't know that you're being used or can or realize that you are being used um, bec um, you are being used and eventually you'll stop being too nice now does that mean that you should start acting like an asshole and hate everybody well maybe that's your choice I mean I can't control you you, you are the masters of your own mind this is why you see some of the most evil human beings 
repent their sins and turn into the most caring, loving human beings that ever lived. Okay, think of inmates being released from prison. Um, they, they, they've changed, they're a new man now. But this also goes the same with the most angelic human beings turning into the most reckless fucking mess that n every people wish they never existed. <laughs> so, what's my thought about that? You know, if you are being suppressed too much from your good side or bad side, it's, it's, it's unhealthy. So, in my opinion, you gotta experience both sides of the spectrum. You gotta realize um, that you're being too nice and that you're being too mean. It's always good to be m nice and bad. Um, it's almost like what I do when I interact with women. Um, it's <laughs> you know, you give them a compliment and then you, you hit them with something uh, shocking through words. Uh, I could give you, t I could talk about how to talk to women on a separate video because I believe I know some stuff about that. After all, it was Halloween just yesterday. I just got back home and here I am making a vlog. Um, yeah. Thank you all for watching and to the new people that I met if you are brand new right if, if you are the type if you're the people that I met in the house party yesterday then I welcome you into my channel I hope you learned something of value you really know me now because I'm making these videos I present myself in front of the camera and um, you're not just judging me based on my pictures on Instagram you know people think I'm like a narcissist that I only just pick you know I only think about myself but no I also try to make a difference, impact the world, and, you know, improve your communication skills. In this case, building trust. So if you would like me to talk about my experience in a club's experience with parties and, you know, with girls, then I could talk about that too. Um, I know some stuff about that. Okay, it could help you. You ladies, could, it could help you too to figure out what the hell's the minds think the guy is thinking <laughs> anyways as Araj Dibazar said my favorite teacher of all times be the best and fuck the rest my name is Clyde and I represent Jacko's edit along as the people in living in Cardiff all the way to Swansea and along those town around those areas okay I hope you have a love I hope you have uh, had a lovely Halloween um, I'm dressed up as something very weird. I know. People ask me what, are, what am I dressed as? I told them, take a guess, what's your first impression when you see me? They all said I'm a vampire. Rah! Hate me, you can't escape me And you ain't never gonna change me I can't stand it, I fucking had it